Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. Sudden wealth came out in reverse. Somebody's concerned about finances. And then community. So someone could be uh, having some issues with money. Mm. Official person in reverse. Somebody is suffering a loss, a great loss is what I just heard. The number 40 could be significant, the number 39, or the number 11, or the number 22. Okay? Apply it where it fits. Then we have first chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So your first chakra is your, um, your, your, um, hold on. Interesting. I'm reading off this, your, oh, I need to put my glasses on. Hold on. All right. The first chakra is your, um, mal Maladhara root chakra. All right. Oh, I'm tripping. Sorry, you guys. This is, <sighs> this is your fifth chakra. Okay. I'm like, that don't make sense. All right. It's the, it's, it's the solar plexus chakra. Okay. This is like the confidence chakra. You feeling like you can do something, having confidence, having the courage to do something. So somebody could be lacking courage right now. Oh, and look again, the number 39 came out twice. So the number 39 could be very significant here for someone or for you. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the number three blossoming abundance. So you could be feeling like right now that oh and 333 is here so google 333 if you want to get an additional message there for you but this is a strong energy of someone kind of being concerned about finances or money here um or the lack thereof okay somebody doesn't feel like they have the courage and confidence to do something that's just what it is okay let's see what else is going on here Listen, if you're thinking about going to the casino, don't go. It's not looking good, okay? <laughs> it's, I don't think it's looking good. So just be careful with that if you're gambling. Maybe this is somebody here wanting to take a risk on something. Have the courage and confidence. Oh, okay. You could be a Gemini. Your person could be a Gemini or a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Okay, somebody wants to make some sort of progress or a move forward. Okay, hmm. they could have been, this could be somebody that you were dealing with. Somebody's in regret and sadness and, and, okay. All right, thank you. So someone is basically, <laughs> somebody could have been a manipulative towards you in the past. Okay, emotionally abusive. Oh, I didn't even mean to say emotionally abusive. So maybe somebody was emotionally abusive to you. But this is the injury of someone who feels like they were emotionally manipulative. They're looking back at what they did. And, and they, they have a lot of emotional baggage and refuse to change. And the change was some inner childhood wounds. Hmm. That was blocking them from manifesting what they want. This could be you. Inner child wounds that need to be healed and addressed. Carrying emotional baggage. So spirit is telling you to release the emotion, emotional baggage and just take action. The two of swords. But somebody's just unclear about how to take action. There, somebody feels like there might be too many obstacles here. They don't know how to get themselves out of the situation. Apply it. If this is a love city, yeah, somebody feels left out in the cold too. Somebody here mm, is just out of ideas. They don't know how to, to go where they need to go. They just don't know. You know? They kind of have an idea, but they're lacking the confidence of doing so. And this is somebody who has some inner child wounds that de are dealing with abandonment issues. Okay, so if this is your person and this is not you, apply it where it fits. Mm. 
somebody's resisting change, like I said. And I think they're frozen and they're stuck in this. Gemini energy, Libra energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Page of Wands is here in reverse, but they somebody here is lacking the confidence, okay? They may feel like they're, they're going to be rejected if they want to come towards you. Oh, that's too many cards. Thank you. Ooh, hold on. What was that? Okay. The lovers in reverse. Okay. So you were dealing with somebody who had trust issues. They couldn't push this relationship or connection forward because they had trust issues. Okay. There is a disconnect between the two of you. You weren't on the same page about what you wanted or somebody was giving more in the connection than you were giving or vice versa. Okay. Somebody knows that they, they're going in the wrong direction. Yeah, they do. Now they're <laughs> coming out of this, trying to come. Somebody is in some heavy, heavy regret. And has some heavy emotional baggage and going through some intense feelings right now. Somebody feels real guilty about something that they did or didn't do. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Nine of Swords, and the Lovers. For some of you all, this person is just didn't make the right choice. And now they're sitting back and thinking about it long and hard. All right, let's see. This for some of y'all, this is the soulmate. Six of Cups, just you walked away from them. And they were they oh, and they're coming back. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So in about three to Oh, okay. In about three to four weeks, this person's coming back. They want a reconciliation. I have Scorpio energy here. A lot of water energy. Somebody's getting a new perspective here. Ace of Cups. Eight of Cups. Ace of Cups. Eight of Cups. Moving in a new direction. They know they need to, but they, they this is like a return. All right, somebody's staying in a situation for the wrong reasons also. I don't know if this is you or your person, but it's like the energy of someone regretting. Mm. Show me more. Thank you. The king of coins. So you, this is a masculine energy of Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This could be somebody who is financially stable or they're used to being financially stable. This person typically works hard. They could be in the military, wear a uniform. You know, this is somebody who is secure, stable in themselves, um, emotionally and, and financially and physically, right? This is somebody who's a hard worker, um, they're successful and very dependable, okay? This person could actually have two children or you could have two children, ten of cups in reverse. But there's a disconnect in a situation that may involve a family or some children. Um, yeah, there's a connection here. If you're dealing with somebody that has another connection, oh, this king of coins could also be having a, a moment of false security. They feel insecure. This king of coins feels insecure. That's what this is. Hmm. Show me more about this king of coins. Thank you. That's too many cards, but I'll take them. There's an ending here. Of somebody's hitting rock bottom. Okay. You could be dealing with a cancer. Yeah, this came out again. Somebody is reevaluating their plan. They just feel a sense of they have they feel powerless. They don't know what direction to go in, what to do. Something either just ended, you guys, or a breakup or a divorce. And then there's an energy of somebody wanting to come back or return. So I don't know if this is a return to you or what. Let's see. Let's move on to a different deck and see if we can get some more clarity here. 
But whatever this is, it's time to wrap it up. You know, somebody's trying to be head over heart, make the right of the right decision and be realistic about it and fair at the same time. But I think this person has so much that so many people they're trying to satisfy instead of satisfying themselves. Show me more here for this situation. Show me more here for spirit. Patience is needed here. But yeah, somebody was deceptive. It's keeping secrets. There were some lies. Now somebody's seeing the truth. So something's coming out about some lies and deception. Okay, something's coming to light. This could be this person in this Five of Cups energy, you know, in this Page of Cups in reverse. Remember, we talked about this manipulative, emotionally manipulative. Somebody's looking back on this behavior and what they did and they're getting clarity now. They put you in competition with somebody else or they had more, they were seeing more than one person. They were, they were seeing more than one person. And it's like this situation is complicated between the two of y'all. They, but they're not ready to let go. Oh, somebody's in a, some of you guys, this is not for everybody, but somebody's in a complicated marriage or commitment that they just have not let go of, but they need to let go of it. They need to let go of it. They know they do. Show me more. But like I said earlier, finances could be a blockage. Somebody wants is trying to move towards you, or it, somebody's trying to move towards a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. They miss you, they love you, and they're also lusting for you too, physically. Yeah. Like I said, they miss you, they love you, but they're also, see, I love you, but they're also lusting for you. They do have passion and love for you though. They do. Something about the situation is complicated. Okay, but like I said, they love you and they miss you. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. Oh, wait, can y'all see that? This person has unconditional love for you. All right. I think you took a step back from this person. You're not speaking with them. You're kind of just relaxing, enjoying life, maybe reconnecting with nature taking time to focus on your soul's purpose or your career, you know, or just making your own self very happy right now. Maybe some of y'all are even doing some traveling, but I'm telling you, this person misses you so much. They're in this five of cups energy, six of cups energy. Think about the past five of coins. They are afraid they're going to be rejected from you, you know, and they feel like they sabotaged the whole connection. They ran away, literally. This came out together. The runner and regret. And it says missing you and self-sabotage. They're thinking about how they were emotionally manipulative. Like I said. <laughs> like I said. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see what else here in this situation. Thank you. True love. This person feels like... Though, yeah, they are they are thinking about you so much. They're addicted to you. They can't stop obsessively thinking about you. They feel like this connection is true love. There was an emotional bond. There was a physical bond. They feel like you gave them unconditional love. Okay. So, so for some of y'all, two, two sides to this. Somebody could either be married here. And it's a third party situation or this person had to set boundaries with somebody from the past that they were married to. Or this is the person that you set boundaries with and they want to come back towards you and uh, marry you, okay? But, yeah, okay. So there's been some boundaries set for sure. Somebody knows that you're trying to let them go or you may have tried to physically block them. So you let them go. You're there. This person is leaning on their friends and their family for support right now. Whoever is in this obsessive thinking and this five of cups energy, that's what's happening with them. And they hid behind material things. Yeah. 
That's why I kept seeing something about finances and sudden wealth and root came out in reverse, but they can't stop thinking about you and they want to tell you how they feel, all right? And how they feel is they want to let you know that they want you. I want to tell you how I feel and I want you. I can't stop thinking about you. They were too focused on work, all right? Money, finances, or this person lacked that. Maybe that's why they were trying to figure out, well, what is it can I do? You know, how can I, how can I get this new money blossoming abundance with a sudden wealth? You know, whatever it is that they needed to do or they feel like they were lacking. Because, you know, this King of Coins did come out. Five of um, coins came out too. Keep that in mind. I want to be more than friends. So for some of y'all, this person could have friend zoned you, blocked you. Let me see. Let's pull a different deck. Show me what else here. Oh, somebody's coming out of denial. Oh, new love came out again. This person is realizing you're the one. I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left me. Forgive me, but I found a new love who makes me feel alive. So for some of y'all, this person chose somebody else, okay, and you don't trust them. You feel like they cannot be trusted since they did this to you. And for others of you... This person is hoping you had moved on to somebody else and while they're having this epiphany and realizing they had, they messed up and that they just, yeah, they're in this five of cups energy. Let them go. Yeah, you let them go because you felt like you couldn't trust them. I don't think you know all this stuff happening. Oh, double life came on. Like I said earlier, you moved on. You moved on. You don't want to be... Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's living a double life who was married or is married. I'm living a double life. I'm a different person in each. If this person wasn't married, they were just being somebody else. They weren't showing you the true them. They were, like I said, being emotionally manipulative. Practice forgiveness. So this person is going to ask you for, for your forgiveness when they think you have moved on to new love. That's what this is. When they think, just when they think, oh, they moved on or you're seeing somebody else, they're going to be like, please forgive me. Did you move on? And you're like, oh, I let you go already. I let you go. I set boundaries. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be like, no, but I love you. This is true love. And you're like, we need to let each other go. <laughs> this person's stalking you on social media. You guys, they could have created a fake profile. They're looking you up at night. Can't sleep. Obsessively thinking about this situation. Mm -hmm. How does this person feel towards my collective? confused like you have options they're confused about what they want to do but they know they want to rush in and come towards you could be dealing with a cancer or a scorpio yeah they are thinking about the future and moving forward okay but they could be waiting on you oh they're not moving forward because oh yeah they are hold on let me see these cards that came out. We have the Hierophant, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands. For some of y'all, this person is leaving a marriage or they need to. And, but they had just been moving slow in the past. Right? They were moving slow in the past. But they're watching you. So that's why they were moving slow. Because they're trying to figure out how can they start this new beginning with you. <clears throat> the Fool, Aries, and Taurus energy, the Empress. So the reason this person was moving slow because they you set the boundary with them. And now they're kind of like been looking you up. Trying to feel your energy out to see 
they can have this new beginning with you or not, or if that's possible. They view you as the Empress, but there's a Ten of Swords here. There was an ending of betrayal between the two of you. Okay. Nine of Swords. Somebody couldn't sleep. They were upset. Very disappointed. Felt like this was a missed opportunity. Can I believe this happened? The Nine of Swords and then the World, which is about ending the cycle. After some conflict, Five of Wands, arguments, fighting, whatever that is. So somebody walked away from that. That's your person's energy. Aries energy here, Libra energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, <clears throat> Cancer, strong Taurus. Okay. That's going to be your reading, you guys. Um, I love you. Just know that this is the energy that's coming in. Okay. And so does, and this person loves you too. <laughs> they said, I love you. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a good night.